What's up guys? Welcome back to AWS Simplified. Today I'm going to be showing you how to read a JSON file that's stored in S3 from a Lambda function. And all it's going to be is three easy steps. So the first one, we need to go to S3 and get our bucket and key name. So let's do that now. Going to S3. I already have a bucket. Mine is called AWS Simplified Transactions. Jot down whatever yours is. I previously uploaded a file and its name is transactions.json. Let's quickly take a look at what's in here. So we have a JSON object with the key being transactions and its value is an array of two objects. Each object has a key called transaction type and an amount field. Let's close that out. Now for the second step, we need to create our Lambda with the correct S3 permissions. So let's go over to Lambda now. So let's go over to create function. I'm gonna be doing mine from scratch. Scrolling down to function name, we call calling mine transaction query from S3. I'm going to be doing this in Python 3.6. We need to choose an execution role that has S3 read access. So let's do that. So we're going to select create a new role from AWS policy templates. Clicking on that, you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to be calling mine S3 read only role. So there is a policy template that already has this permission. So click on this drop down box here, type in S3, should filter them down for you. And the one that you're looking for is Amazon S3 object read only permissions. Select that one. And that's it for creating the function. Click on create function in the bottom right here. Sometimes this takes a minute or so. All right, fantastic. So our function was created correctly. Uh, so now is step three. We need to actually code up the handler. So let's scroll on down to the code window. Let's grab this stuff. We're going to go over to Sublime now. Paste the stuff in there, and we're going to get rid of all this garbage. Uh, over here on the left, I have a reference of our JSON object, so we can take a look as we're coding this thing up. Uh, so we need to do two things. First of all, we need to import Bodo3. Then we need to define our S3 client from the Bodo library. So S3 is equal to Bodo3.client. And S3 goes in there. All right, perfect. So the first thing we need to do is define a local variable storing our bucket name. So we're going to be calling it bucket. And mine was called AWS Simplified Transactions. Be sure to replace this, whatever your bucket name is. Same thing for key. Mine is called transactions dot json also obviously make sure to replace this with yours and from there we're going to actually call s3's get object api and store its response in a local variable so response is equal to s3 get underscore object and we need to provide the bucket and the key all right perfect a quick side note here, I actually have another S3 and Lambda video where I set up a Lambda function that gets triggered when a user uploads a file to S3. If you're interested, I'll leave a link to it in the description below and a card in the top right. So now we need to read the content off the response. So let's store that in the content variable. And the content is actually located in the body of the response. So that's been extracted there. We need to parse out the JSON object now from the body. So let's say JSON object is equal to JSON.loadS. We're going to read the content. All right. So now JSON object is referring to a Python dictionary object. And now we need to extract the transactions key from that object. So let's say transactions is equal to JSON objects transactions. Perfect. Now we have a reference to that. So from there, we just need to iterate over both of these records now. So let's do that for record in transactions. And let's just print out the contents. So transaction type is equal to record transaction type is the key. And we need this for amount. So copying that line. Change this guy to amounts. Keep in mind that this is not a string, it's a integer. So we need to cast that to string in order for print to work correctly. And let's just have a little delimiter here. All right, perfect. So let's take all this stuff. We're gonna go back into the console, paste this in, click save. Perfect. 
Now we need to define a test event. So click on test. Can leave the event template to be hello world. That's fine. We do need a name, so let's just call it test event. You can leave whatever's in here is fine. We're not reading off the input, so it doesn't really matter what's in here. Scroll down and click on create. All right, so everything should be set up. Let's click on test to actually invoke the function now. All right, so that was a success. Let's scroll down and see the results. All right, so here we see the start of our transaction, and we can see we're successfully iterating over the two objects and printing out their content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If there's any questions or comments you may have, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.